Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Red Mill brand, Bob's Red Mill brand that is, the premium quality pearl barley. Now barley is one of those things that's a delicious to taste and has an excellent source of fiber in there. Now this is pearl barley and it has unique flavor and texture. And this is really, really good in making homemade soups. And uh, you can see the information how to cook it. They have some couple different recipes here. I make a delicious soup with this, very similar to what they have right here. It's uh, 200 calories a serving, 44 grams of carbohydrates, very low fat. And uh, you're gonna get some decent fiber out of this. You're gonna get also five grams of protein from this and vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium. Pretty decent numbers. You look at the uh, the iron, it's about two milligrams. That's pretty good. So this is healthy and nutritious for you. And if you look at the way it looks on the side right there, we'll show a close-up of that. So there's a close-up. You can see the shape of the barley, the beautiful color that it has. And uh, when you cook it up, it'll expand to about about two times that size as it dehydrates. And you can also see that it is non-GMO, which is also great. I make a beef barley soup, and I took about a cup of the barley, and I have about four or five cups of filtered water, and I'm gonna boil this for about 15 minutes. And I'm gonna add a bunch of other ingredients to it. So here is chopped up celery, onion, carrots, green pepper, red pepper, and jalapeno. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to microwave it a little bit to soften it up. Then I'm going to saute it in some peanut oil. And then I'm going to throw it into that soup at the 15 minute point. Mince up some garlic and that's going to be sauteed with the microwave vegetables. The stock I'm going to be using is better than bouillon roasted beef base. I'm also going to be adding some Morningstar Farm Grillers that I'm going to chop up to act, act as a meat substitute. And I'm going to be adding Mirror Glen Organic Diced Tomatoes. Once everything uh, gets a little softened up, I'll throw this in at the last 10-20% of the time. So here I'm sauteing the vegetables that were just microwave, just to get them a little more softer so that they'll match the texture of the Bob's Mill barley. After the barley is about half cooked, you want to add the better than bouillon into the water to flavor it. Now I added the Morning Star Farm grillers chopped up and the garlic. I'm going to stir that around. Now you add in the Mirglen Diced tomatoes, the 14.5 ounce can. Now it's all simmering and broken down a little bit. We're going to add this to the barley, which is about two thirds finished now with the chicken stock already in there, with the beef stock already in there. Now you just let it simmer and come to a boil, and everything will soften up and match the texture of the Bob's Red Mill Pearl Barley. Be absolutely delicious. After the vegetables and the barley are the texture you want, you want to take some cornstarch and water and blend it up and you're going to add that to the soup while it's boiling and that's going to thicken it up for you. So there's the finished soup and there's the basic products we use, the cornstarch, the Bob's Red Mill Pearl Barley, pearl barley and the better than bouillon and the Mirror Glen organic diced tomatoes and it tastes really delicious. So this is a great product. This is one of these things where you want to go with this brand I feel. I've tried other brands and this one seems to be the most consistent in quality and in texture and flavor and just has got really high quality ingredients, the way it's milled and everything all naturally. This brand in general makes really good products. So this is the 30 ounce size or one pound and 14 ounces. And I'm gonna highly recommend it. I'm gonna give this a full five star rating. Hope the information I presented helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.